Now your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast. Supported by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Warm, humid conditions and hazy skies for this afternoon. Temperatures forecast to make it up into the low to mid-90s for the eastern half of the valley, then heading westward is some upper 90s there, Rio Grande City and Roma. The rain chance is a little bit higher also the further east you go for this afternoon. Valley average high is 94. We'll be just slightly below that in some spots. So a stationary frontal boundary up towards the north has been pushing showers and storms southward. And then you get these little outflow boundaries. You can see some of them on the radar here. These little lines are moving south. Act like middle mini cold fronts. These continue to move south and you can see that area is, move, uh, is building out towards the west. So I expect to see some of these showers and storms from that part make it into deep south Texas though over the next uh, few hours or so. And then we have plenty of tropical moisture coming in from the south. So there's your stationary front. And then we have all the tropical moisture, big area of showers and thunderstorms over the southern and southwestern Gulf of Mexico. And all of that is moving off towards the north as well. So we've got all kinds of uh, uh, scenarios here is setting up to give us a good shot at rain for later on this afternoon, especially into this evening and then again for tomorrow. Storm Prediction Center has also put all of deep south Texas into the marginal risk for severe weather for today with the main threat being, of course, the lightning, strong gusty winds and the potential for some localized flooding as well. So any of these storms could have that potential as we go through the afternoon into the early evening hours. Future cast starting in, uh, this uh, afternoon and seeing all that moisture moving northward from the Gulf of Mexico and that's going to set us up by 3 o'clock to see some of those showers and storms around, some of that moving in from the north and looking like we could actually see some bigger clusters coming from the north pushing southward as we go through the late afternoon early evening hours kind of favoring the upper valley but really anywhere across deep south texas could see some of this activity and if this holds true looking for potential for some heavy rain there across parts of star, star county and western hidalgo county then it kind of tapers off for the overnight hours then by tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon here it comes again it's going to be really starting to come in from the gulf moving westward for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. And some of this rainfall could be heavy tomorrow and our rain chances actually go up to about 60% for tomorrow, late tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon. And then we see things taper off again and Friday morning, here comes another round. Again, a lot of tropical moisture to deal with and it's gonna stick around at least until probably Friday afternoon, Friday evening. And then we all see it start to taper off. Saturday looking like just a small chance of rain and really drying out for the upcoming weekend. Here's one forecast rainfall computer model showing that the heaviest rainfall is expected across the eastern half of the valley. But again, you get underneath any of these downpours and you see some of that heavy rain pretty much anywhere across the valley. The uh, tropical satellite looking pretty quiet out there, mainly because of that dust out there. We have what's left of Dolly now, tropical depression moving away from the U.S. mainland and pretty quiet there across the Gulf of Mexico, just general showers and storms. And here comes the dust. We've already started to see some of it out there, expected to kind of stick around all the way into the upcoming weekend, first part of next week. That's going to put us in the unhealthy air quality. So this is not a good thing there. Seven day forecast of the weekend, always in view. Your rain chances pretty high all the way through Friday, tapering off by the weekend. Temperatures slightly below normal into Sunday.